If you're looking to create a professional intro video for your YouTube channel or website in five minutes or less at no cost to you completely online, then you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Yoda and welcome to my channel. In this video intro, I'm going to show you step by step how to make your own intro videos at absolutely no cost to you. Video intros go by many different names in the industry, such as logo animations, graphic openers, video bumps, and also logo stings. This intro video tutorial has no system requirements, no software to purchase or install, because everything we're going to do is going to be done online. If all goes well, your intro video will be completed and downloaded to your computer in less than five minutes. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to discuss the two biggest mistakes people make when using video intros. Now, if I'm able to do all this to your satisfaction, please consider a like and subscribe. It's certainly a great reward for me for doing all this. So are you ready to make your video intro? Then let's make it happen. We're going to start with the logo from YourUltimateVacation.com that Bethany, my wife, designed. And what we want to do is take her logo and create an intro video that looks like this one. What you're looking at here is a bunch of sample intro videos that I made just to give you a general idea of what you're able to do. Each one of these took roughly five minutes to make and all of them were free. Since everything is done online, there's no software to download, no system requirements. As long as you have a browser and access to the internet, you can make these all day long for free. There are hundreds of different video options to choose from. The ones you see here are just the ones I thought would work best with Bethany's logo. All the intro videos have matching audio in the background. And the length of the intro videos is as little as 5 to 7 seconds, all the way up to 30 seconds, just depending on what your personal needs are. What's nice is you can create as many intro videos as you like, and they're stored online, so at any point in the future you want to go back and access them, they're available for you. Now that we've reviewed a bunch of sample intro videos using Bethany's logo, we're ready to create our own video intro. To do that, we first need to go to our browser. In my case, I use Google Chrome. And then you want to type in webyoda.com front slash render forest. And then you hit enter. When you hit enter, it'll take you to the WebYoda Foundation partner page with render forest. Renderforest.com is where we're going to make our free intro videos. But if at any point you decide to purchase a high res version, a portion of those proceeds will go directly to the WebYoda Foundation. And in turn, the WebYoda Foundation will use 100% of those proceeds to create more free training like the video you're watching now. To get started, click on the visit renderforest.com button. This takes us to the renderforce.com sign-in page. To make free intro videos at renderforce.com, all we need is an account. So to do that, we're going to click on sign in at the top right. And below the sign in button, it says sign up. So we're going to click on sign up to create an account. Now in this case, we're setting up Bethany's account for her website, yourultimatevacation.com. So we chose a title, the email, and then a password. Next, we need to agree to renderforce terms. So we click the box there. And now we click the sign up button. At this point, we have successfully registered, and now we just need to activate our account. To do this, we need to go to our email and look for an email from RenderForest. Open that email and just click the Verify Email button. That'll take you back to RenderForest.com and tells us that we have successfully activated our account. Now we can simply click the Login button, and then from here, enter our email and password and click Sign In, and we're ready to get started making our free intro video. Now to get to the section where we can make intro videos, the easiest way is to click on Explore and then choose Intro Maker. At this point, if you scroll down, you'll notice there's a number of samples. When you move your mouse across them, they don't really do anything. You could push the play and watch them. But what I found, if I scroll back up and click on the Create Now button, the samples it shows here, when you put your mouse over, it gives you some idea of what it's going to do. So let's go ahead and make a sample video just to see how this works. So let's click on the Hot Explosion logo reveal. It may have a different one for you when you come there, but we're going to do this as a sample. Now we'll click on the Create Now. And it tries to walk us through the steps. You can click on Skip because I'm going to show you those steps. Then on the right hand side where it says Your Logo here, we'll click on that. We'll choose Upload. And then you want to go to the folder that has your own personal logo. Now, if you don't have your own logo yet, you can click on the link at the top right, and it'll take you to a video on how to create your own free logo as well. So we'll click on the logo. We'll click on Open. And now we have the ability to make it bigger or smaller. It automatically fit just fine, so we'll hit Confirm. And notice our logo is now there. And now for the text, I find entering it over here works better. 
So I'm going to put your ultimate vacation. I can hit enter. Saving changes. Now I can click on preview. And I can click on free preview. And it doesn't take too long. Sometimes there's a little queue where you're going to be next. And then it'll prepare to make your video. Shouldn't take too long. And then it'll start the exporting process, which is basically creating the final product. And by default, this is going to send us an email whenever it's ready. Well, we're sitting here waiting on it so we can see it. Now if we scroll down, we can hit the play button. Just review it. Renderforest.com. Now this is our free video, and notice it has their little mark on the side, and when you play it, you can hear them in the background saying Renderforest.com. That's kind of what you're going to get if you're going to get a free version. Now at the top right, we can click on our account, and we can click on My Videos, and you'll see that video has now been added. Now the question here is, Suppose this is fine, you want to use this, but how do you get to download it? Because they make it kind of cryptic to get to where you can download it. Well, the answer to that is you click on Preview. Renderforest.com And then you click on this icon right here at the bottom right. And then it comes up with a download option. You click on Download, and now you have your free download. And you can open that in the folder, and sure enough, when you run it, there's your free video. Renderforest.com. So we've made a sample and we've seen how to download a free sample and now we're ready to make the real one for Bethany's website. So we'll close the video preview. We'll go back to Explore. Choose Intro Maker. Choose Create Now. And the one that we decided on for Bethany's is going to be this simple 3D logo pack. So we'll click on that. We'll choose Create Now. Now at this point the logo is already in there, so when we click on your logo here we can just go to the Media Library and we can select our logo and at the bottom right choose Insert. At this point we can make it bigger or smaller, in this case we can make it a little bit bigger to make it take up more space. We don't want it to be too big so that took us over the edge so we'll take it back a little bit. We'll click on Confirm, and then we'll type the same thing over here, Your Ultimate Vacation. Hit Enter. Saving Changes. Now we can go to the Preview, and click on the Preview. And now we got to go through the same process, the video queuing. Again, that'd take too terribly long. Now it's preparing our media, getting ready to create it for us. And now it's exporting the final result. Now the export can take a little bit longer than you're seeing here. I sped it up just a tiny bit just so we could get through it a little faster. But it's really not that much of a delay. Now in the meantime, I'm going to turn off email notifications because I don't want them to be every single time I make one showing up my email. I can just look in my account and see when it's ready or if I'm sitting here, I'll know that it's ready. So now we can click on Watch. And here's our sample video. Simple, easy, to the point. I'm happy with it, but in our case, since I want to use this as a real product for a YouTube video, which you've already seen it in this one, or in Bethany's website, I'm probably not going to want the render for us on the side, and I probably don't want the sound in the background to say renderforest.com. So to meet my needs, I'm actually going to purchase one, and I just want to show you how that works so that you can see the process as well. Now for simplicity, I go ahead and go back to my account, and I choose my videos. So here, I'm ready to export this, and for my purposes, I'm going to export as 1080p, but most people may use 720, and it'll cost a little bit less. If we click on that, we'll see that that's going to be um, giving us the three different choices, and it, so I guess it really didn't matter which one of those we clicked on. If I click on this one, I get the same three choices. So to get a 1080p, I can spend $19.99, or I can get a lower version. You're really not going to want the one down here if you're trying to use this for post-production, for example, for your website, or if you're going to use it for a YouTube video like we're doing. So now I'm going to click on the Buy button, and you'll enter information. You click on Pay. At this point, it'll go back to your account, and it'll start preparing your media so that you can download it. So you see now it's creating the high-res version, so it has to go through the process again instead of just having a preview. And now it's into the export mode. And the export again takes a little bit longer. I've sped it up a tiny bit in here. 
Because it's exporting a 1080p version, a high-res HD version, instead of just the little preview that we had, obviously you expect it might take a little bit longer, but we're not talking about 10 or 15 minutes, you're talking about one or two minutes. Now the export process is complete. Our video has been successfully rendered, it took a little over two minutes to do that, and we're ready to download. And now we can simply click the download button to get access to our new video. At this point it starts downloading at the corner just like the other one did. And when it's complete, which it already is, we can click on Show in Folder, and now we can look at the new high-res version. And it's clear that's a lot better. Now if we make it even bigger, let's play that again just to see really what we're looking at. Now again, you don't have to purchase Obviously, there's no requirement that you do that. But for the amount of money we're talking about, if you're trying to make a professional intro for a YouTube video, some kind of other presentation, or for a website, you really just can't deny how amazing this product is, how quickly it made this. Remember, there's hundreds of different ones to choose from to meet your exact needs. It takes you a couple of minutes to make it. You know, 15, 20 minutes, you're done out the door, and for like $20, that's all you have into it. So it's really worth considering. Now if we close that and go back to the website, at any time if you log into your account and you go to My Videos, you'll notice that now the download for that particular one is now activated. And you scroll down you can see that the other one is still not activated. So you permanently have access to this download in case at some point you need to download it again from a different location. So I already see a recurring question that's going to come up and that's how can I embed this in my own website? Well, let's go ahead and embed it in Bethany's Your Ultimate Vacation website. So we're going to open a new tab. We're going to go to yourultimatevacation.com front slash login so we can log into the back end. Now, if you're not using a WordPress website, then you're going to have to find an alternate solution. So we'll click on login. And now we're logged into Bethany's website. On the left-hand side, we're going to choose Media, Add New, Select Files, and it's going to be in your download folders if you just created it. So we'll click on the new one that's right there, the 1080p. We'll choose Open. And now we can click back on Media. And we'll see that it's been added to our library. Now I want to click on that. And over here where it has the URL, I want to select that URL. And then I want to copy it to the clipboard. Now I can close that and we're ready to add it to a page. So we're going to go to the left and click on Pages. And we're going to scroll down to Bethany's home page. Now her pages are built with Elementor Page Builder. Again, if you're not using Elementor Page Builder, you'll need to have an alternate solution. One alternate solution may be to use Elementor Page Builder. It's free. It's great. Um, we have a video that shows you exactly how to do that. So if you click on this link up here, it shows you everything you need to know to build Bethany's website, the one we're looking at now, and it includes everything you need to know about Elementor. We'll click on Home, Edit with Elementor. And her website currently has this intro. We're going to be changing that intro out just for this example. So we're going to choose this section by clicking right there. We're going to go to Style. And right here is a video link to a YouTube video. We're going to replace that with the one that we just created. We'll click on Update. We'll create a new tab. We'll go back to her website, yourultimatevacation.com. And just like that, the video intro has been added to her website. Now I want to discuss the two biggest mistakes people make when using intro videos. The first of those is putting the intro at the very beginning of their video, and I can tell you I am guilty of that until I made this video. What you really need to do is start your YouTube videos with what you plan to accomplish, then follow it with the video intro, and then follow it with the rest of the content. The second mistake is making the video intro too long. You really don't want it any longer than, say, 7 to 10 seconds. Anything more than that, and you're just taking away from the point of the video. You just don't want to take a chance at your viewers jumping ship too soon. I mean, they came here for the content. The bells and whistles are kind of secondary. So I truly hope I've given you all the information you need to make your own professional intro videos. Now, if there's something that I didn't mention or you have questions, please leave them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And if I don't know the answer, I'll say, hey, I don't know. But if I do know the answer or I can find the answer, I'll give it to you and maybe we can work on it together. Now, I really enjoy doing this. And really, the only payment I'm looking for, if I could get a subscribe and possibly a like out of this, it'd be super helpful. Outside of that, I um, hope you have a great day. Peace out.